Hold on, did it turn out? Oh, there we go. <laughs> hey, Seth. Seth. What's up, man? What's up? How you doing? Nice. Thank you, guys. Nice. You know Farrah? <laughs> I haven't seen your movie yet, but I'm excited to check it out. See? <laughs> Take it easy. Yeah, she has a movie, too, so. Uh, I know, exactly. Yeah. More excited for hers than mine, I yes. think. So and, uh, it's something about her end. Which, uh, I've heard. In the butt in that I yes. so wow. have heard. Yes, yes. Yeah, she, she dives, does anal. She dives right into she, it. Yeah. She, she, See, uh, that's dumb, though, because she could have worked up to it and milked more money out of yeah. the situation. But she right? lost her anal virginity at 15. Ooh. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Late bloomer, right? right? Is that evidence in the video? <laughs> you know? <laughs> that was just not even an option. Like, like when when oh we were God, when we were growing no. up, it was like that wasn't a fucking option. No, that's option. crazy. It's you like, would be, I, yeah. You heard myths of that. Yes, it was mythical. You're right. It was a mythical I, thing. <laughs> I think I was thirty. Yeah. I'm shocked I'm not, I that think a team mom got the first dick in your ass. Wow. There you go. Oh Jesus! I like it. Yeah, I like a good ass. I believe thirty-ish. Around there. Oh really? Wow! Oh, it wasn't even an option. No. Okay, you didn't they, even know how to ask for it. Dive into it young these days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's I crazy. That. Well, because they want to keep yeah. the virginity, so they're okay. becoming. They, yeah. That didn't work out too well either. No. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. But in general, yeah, yeah. it's not a butt baby, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Teen mom butt baby yeah. edition would be a. I would watch that show. A ratings <laughs> juggernaut. Yeah, exactly. I MTV tell you. reinvents the wheel. <laughs> Uh, well, that was nice having her in here. She's She's sexy, man. Well, yeah. She was very attractive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She's uh, very thin, long legs. Yeah. She has fake breasts. I think they are. She got them augmented. 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 They use the word augmented these days. All that sexy talk you have, Jimmy. (laughs) No, it says in the bio. Augmented. Your tits are so augmented. That's a gross word. It is. It's like you do to a machine. I augmented my car. Yeah, uh, after so, uh, Teen Mom, she had them augmented. Yeah, so, so, good for her. Teen Mom money. Can you just say she got breast implants? I yeah. like natural tits. Like I don't know why women do that. They're I don't under yeah, yeah. I Nothing's will. more sad than a porn star where you like gets fake breasts. Oh, my after, God, after yes. you're into yeah. them already, and then right. you're like, oh. It well, should just be, happen. yeah, regular fucking. I don't care if they're small, but no. it doesn't matter. Well, just we've not. been lucky over the years. We've seen so many, and as soon as they take their shirt off, it's like, what the fuck? It looks great in a sweater. Every once in a while, you get one that's done right, and you're like, fuck, that's good. Yeah, no, it's true. But they always go too big, and the the, the skin's too tight, it's and it gross. doesn't move at all. It's and weird. Scars, and they remove the nipple sometimes, put it back over here, <laughs> over here. No. Sometimes they're both on one side. They, they yeah, lose like a, track, like a flounder. <laughs> Seth, we've, we've seen it all, Seth. <laughs> scars under the arm because they go under the they arm. They go under the arm. Then we had a, we had a broad on that pumps up her own boobs. No shit. Yes, she puts her own saline in, depending like, uh, on what she has to do. Like Liberace's dick. Yeah, yeah. 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 Did you see that movie? I, I made it halfway through. I didn't finish it. No, huh? <laughs> I will. Not because of that. It is hard to continue I, watching after you come. Exactly, I know. I'll finish it later. <laughs> I like to keep it fresh. Yeah. <laughs> we got what's-his-name coming in tomorrow, right? Uh, oh. Scott, uh, Scott Thorson. Scott. The actual guy? Yeah. 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 The actual guy tomorrow. Yeah. I got to ask how big Liberace's cock was. I mean, yeah. Who I know that. You got to know. Of course, it. you're a journalist. Yeah, you have exactly. To have exactly. Yes. You think he had a hammer? I don't <laughs> hammer. know. Maybe because he wanted to fucking. Did you see the movie? I saw the first half. It, but yeah. he talks about how. What happened? He, have like why, why, he has why an augmentation. Yes. Yes. Why didn't you watch the second? I actually just fell asleep. Oh, like, it wasn't like a purposeful. <laughs> like, Seth, fuck blew, this Seth, shit. Seth, Seth, Seth blew a load and dozed yeah, off. Exactly, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just <laughs> not off in your own mess. I came and I did it. I'll save the. fucking amazing. Yeah, I'll save the other half for later. Exactly. The <laughs> next weekend. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, I, I would like Michael to Douglas was passionate. The performances are unfucking really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. what I was saying. Matt Rob, Damon. Rob Lowe's Rob Lowe. unbelievable. Hilarious. He's so fucking funny. He's so funny. What a it. creep. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But of laughing. course, we're here to talk about your movie. Okay, sure. Uh, this <laughs> is the I end. Did. I'll talk I about s- butt babies more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I saw this is the end, man. Fuck, I loved it. Thank you so much, man. Absolutely loved it. I really appreciate that. And I haven't loved a comedy in a while. It's been a couple years now it's tough to make a good very movie. tough to make a good <laughs> why do you think it's yeah. tough uh i think it's tough to let them like, leave you alone honestly like that's what i found is the most tough um hmm. is to resist like 
you know, money. Honestly, like they're <laughs> like you have to like make movies for like cheaper than you than you can make them for. Mm, yeah. Is like what's a little counterintuitive. Wow. Like we probably could make more expensive movies, but we don't because we get to make fucking crazy movies right. if we make cheaper movies. So like you literally get paid less, you have less time to make them. Like and it's taken me years huh. to realize that that's better <laughs> but that, right, right. but it is better and and i think that's why that's why we found it hard like every movie we've made that isn't as good as the good or you know the better movies we've made is because of the rating or the budget or just something that kind of ultimately disqualifies it from being like batshit fucking crazy right which is what you want to be able to do is like right. any idea you come up with well, on set you want to be like let's do that let's do that and you don't ever want to be like eh, i don't think we can do that right like, well that. with that yeah. said there's so many cameos in this movie and the one thing i was thinking as i'm sitting there like man seth's got to pay all these people <laughs> <laughs> we didn't pay any of them shit <laughs> but, but how do you i mean how do you get them all to to agree to do uh their cameos you call it a lot of favors and just oh, say please right? wow. yeah you just say please and, and you you hope you know i do stuff that people ask me if i think it's funny like if you're again if like there's so few actually funny things out there that if there's something that you feel like might be funny then you just do it like you want to do, do, do a vine with me yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> that's about the amount of time i commit to those things. I commit, but i can only commit to the first two it's seconds seven, so yeah, i'll do the first cut of the vine <laughs> but but yeah i mean it's just fun people want to do funny shit like it's it's fun for them as you know people who who like to be funny to yeah. do funny yeah, shit. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, it wasn't that hard to get people. How, how do you explain the movie in your words there? How do I explain the plot of the movie? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's hard, but we say, I guess it's about um, a bunch of famous people that are having a party at James Franco's house, and then the apocalypse happens, and a lot of them die, and the survivors <laughs> barricade themselves in the house and kind of have to deal with each other's, like, uh, underlying like issues with each other and like their past, their friendships and their as they ride out the apocalypse. Right. As they ride out the yeah. end of the world. When you pick up Jay at the airport and go back to your place, yeah, I'm like, all right, I'm in. That, yeah, exactly. that whole sequence, I'm like, okay, this is gonna be a really fucking good movie. <laughs> Thank you. And it's tough to talk about a movie I've seen that other people haven't seen. I haven't you don't seen want, it. You don't want to give away. Hilarious. You don't want to give away shit. Yeah, it's true. But one thing you'll like, and I actually thought about this as there, we use war pigs in the movie, oh, and, nice. we, and we kind of like cut it in a like we kind of use it as score almost like we use the riff -na -na, over and over again and in order to do that ozzy osbourne had to clear it so he actually came himself with sharon to our offices and watched the entire movie by himself wow. and he fucking loved it and he cleared us the song for the movie and also over the end credits there's a new sabbath song from his new album oh that wow like literally kicks in like right when the movie ends do you mean this album? i do mean that <laughs> album and, but what was great is we got to listen to the whole album like uh in december because we got to pick right. which song we wanted at the end and it was amazing uh, it was that's fucking album. great it's yeah, so it was, good put it this it's way it's so good it's so good that it made jimmy pop into a british accent uh when ozzy was here yesterday <laughs> he was here yesterday it's so you awesome. talk to him in a british accent well, we, got, we got to play this <laughs> ozzy and geezer came in yesterday and, uh, i don't know what play. happened jimmy's I just... such a fanboy <laughs> he literally like you know if you're hanging out with people long enough you kind of take on some of their it's speech true. patterns the first time i had a good friend from new york i like couldn't help it you like, just start, you start, yeah, start, really start talking like this there. a little yeah, bit a little bit here and there jimmy instantly became like <laughs> i don't british I don't or know irish happened. or scottish i'm not even sure what I just, it was I you became james norton I, did, yes. I, became, yes, I became the other jim norton the actor who's yeah. in, yes there's an, an old, english gentleman there's an old british jim norton the actor. <laughs> yeah he was sitting here yesterday <laughs> i have to confess when seth walked in i laughed like him <laughs> did you? yes go back to the tape later we are, we are it, great like it, that it's, i don't know why I've but people but, tell me that before actually because <laughs> uh, your laugh is uh, listen great. listen to uh yeah this is from yesterday it, it, yeah. it's a quick clip they're coming in to you know to be interviewed Yes, and, and the part where he talks about how he's losing weight, Ozzy yeah. goes, wow, you lost a lot of weight. And then Jim tells him how he's losing weight. Listen to this put on <laughs> fucking it's douchey it's like, British accent. Or you could just say, uh, just a boy talking no, to Ozzy. <laughs> douche. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne. That's me. How you doing, Ozzy? <laughs> That's you again. Take a seat, my friend. Hello. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing, man? Take a seat. How are you? <laughs> so much you. Yeah, Jimmy I lost a lot of weight. Just go to the gym. Just go to the gym. <laughs> 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 just, just go to the chat. Just go to the chat. <laughs> The cadence. Yeah. <laughs> he took the cocky he cadence. Did. And then, but there's, the there's another one right after that, too, you got to hear, because he does Let's that. Go the yeah. 
it, she goes, try to eat, eat, eat better, better. It's terrible. Here, here it is. Yeah, Jimmy lost a lot of weight. Just go to the gym. Just go to the gym and eating better. <laughs> I'm so douched out by that. But I do, thank God I came right back. You did. You, did. you, did. you bounced back. Did you know, know it as it was happening? Could you? Yeah, I felt something was wrong. <laughs> Yes. Is it me? Yes. I, I think I realized that I switched histories and continents. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you, you've just become another human. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened. Yeah. I just that, got caught up in it because they're so British. I do something so almost equally embarrassing around <laughs> musicians, which is I'll, I'll I'll start singing their songs without realizing oh, it. Shit. Like, and it, and I do it a lot. Like, and and, and I always, it is super fucking embarrassing. <laughs> like, if Ozzy was here, I would just start being like, <laughs> and then I like have to catch myself. I'm like, oh shit, I'm fucking singing yeah. this asshole song. And he'd be like, oh, I know what? that song. I, yeah, exactly. I wrote that yeah, one. great. Oh, yeah. I wrote that fucking fuck? song. Good for you. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. You know it. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, uh, you, know what, you know what people seem to really like uh, are, are when serious actors or actors that aren't really known for comedy are funny in yes, a movie. Yes, they do. And, and, and the cameos like that are, are fantastic. It, it doesn't happen that often mm -hmm. when you get a serious actor. In yeah, there. yeah. But every once in a while, you have a James Franco he was or great. someone like that who actually great. can do both uh, uh, and, uh, things. And was everyone really cool with like goofing on themselves, or was there something yeah. that you wrote and and they're like, dude, come on, man? There was nothing like <laughs> career-wise they wouldn't say. Every yeah, once yeah. in a while, we would hit a wall with people uh, that we maybe wouldn't have hit if they weren't playing themselves. We asked Jonah to say he would like suck God's dick if he liked it, <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, I don't know. <laughs> and there was some crank like Mother Teresa's like a piece of shit line. <laughs> he was like, I don't know if I want to do that. He's like, I think when he's like, please don't make me say that. <laughs> and you're like, okay, fine. You're like, no, it was great, and he uh, he's only on for a little bit. I think people know by now, Michael Sarah. Oh yeah, he's how you spun that? Yeah, because we've kind of made fun of him a little bit. How he play? He's been playing the same guy a little bit. A sweet. Oh, he's always, yeah. Yeah. oh, we love him. we love him, but yeah. you fucking hit it out of the park with that. Yeah, he was. Uh, he I can't great. believe he did it. He plays like a coked out sexual. <laughs> yeah, okay. uh, I didn't know what you wanted to say. Yeah, no, yeah, it's it okay. some of the material. Yeah, it's uh it's crazy. Yeah. And and we wrote that like it's fucking nuts. Like we wrote it and and we sent it to him and we we're like, there's no way he'll do it. And we literally got back an email just being like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then we didn't have like one other conversation with him about it. Yeah, like, whatever you like, need. Yeah, he's just like whatever you like, you're getting your ass eaten in this scene. Like, okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> That's, cool. That's the scene. He's in the bathroom. It's fantastic. It's and, and he's doing Coke with Rihanna. Yeah. <laughs> it, was pretty, it was pretty good to look at. It's man. Unbelievable. Oh, shit. That's fantastic. And, and the other thing, uh, when Danny McBride shows up in the movie, he's a fuck. I said it. He's a fucking pimp. Yeah. He's unbelievable. <laughs> he's unfucking like the funniest guy ever. Like, yeah. uh, when he's on, there's nobody fucking funnier than that guy. It's crazy. Like, uh, yeah. he kills all of us. And he's so, like, ruthless. Like, he really, like, he came to the set. Like, we, he came to filming, like, a few weeks after we'd been filming. And I just kept emailing him, being like, "We're really going at each other pretty hard in here, so like, bring <laughs> yeah, your yeah. game." And he just like decimated everybody. Like it was that James Franklin didn't suck any dick. Last night. Like, like, <laughs> he would just like call it. Like everyone was just like, "Holy shit, this is insane!" <laughs> Did you guys have uh, room to just improv? Yeah, a lot okay, of it good, was. Yeah, uh, yeah we. Improvised it seems a lot. like it. Yeah, especially in when you're way. ourselves, you want to, you yeah. know, like really give the guys freedom to. And right. you, you you hang out with each other, um, not on a regular basis, but that's kind of the group of friends, really. Yeah. I mean, like, I have, like, probably a closer group of friends that I see more sure. regularly, but people like, like, uh, like Jay Barish, Craig Robinson, I actually see a lot, McBride, mm -hmm. I see a lot, Franco, I see quite yeah, a bit, yeah. like, all these guys were, like, like, invited to or at my wedding, and, like, sure. my, my, like, like, I, and I, and I at theirs, like, we, we're actually really good friends, so it's nice to work with them. You got a name for your group of people? Exactly, like, yeah. Brat Pack? <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm so glad we don't have one of those comedy group names. <laughs> yeah. Please. I call mine the Fighting Irish. <laughs> yes, of course you do. And the, then you the, sound the Scottish pikeys. when you do it. Pikeys. The commitments. <laughs> the commitments. Nice. Nice. Uh, shit. Yeah, very well received, the movie. It's getting uh, good, getting reviews. good reviews. It's ridiculous. And for a <laughs> 
There's a lot of giant cocks in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Might be the best reviewed movie with giant cocks with in giant it. Giant cocks. In. <laughs> I think that's the tagline from Rolling Stone. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, insane. that's cool. Yeah, the monsters it. are great. The fucking yeah. special effects. It's, 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 you yeah, know, no you got skimping some, on the uh, on the uh, CGI. No, you got yeah. some zombie yeah. stuff in there. You yeah. got a little of everything. We got a little of everything. I'm I think you're gonna do all right with this one, Seth. I think it's going to do okay. Yeah. I think. I mean, we made it pretty cheap. We'll probably make back our whole budget like before the weekend's <laughs> hey, over. Honestly, like, nice. Yeah, How is, much did it cost? It's a thirty-one million dollar movie. That's, that's like, amazing. Yeah. That's yeah. fucking amazing. Do you, do you think that if you make it like cheaper like that, that they look at it and go like, "Fuck, man, he's making fucking eight times." You don't let him do what he wants because it's made cheap, makes so yeah, much. Yeah, it's exactly yeah. what it is. <laughs> like, if you're in that range, you could have as many giant cocks in your movie. <laughs> <Yeah. so, yeah. laughs> you could have Mike Sayer doing coke and having his ass eat, and no one, no one says. Shit. No, he's gonna lie. <laughs> no, yeah. they, they let you go. Leave for him it. alone. It's cheap. exactly. Yeah. It's got some names in it. We love it. You just don't want to be their biggest problem, and no, like, no. and like, that's all yeah. it is. Is like, don't be the studio's biggest fucking problem. And like, we've been the biggest problem, and like, you don't want to be the biggest problem. Yeah, you want to be like the other thing that they're not worried about. Like, <laughs> Jesus yeah, that's Christ, way, way yeah. fucking better. Yeah. What movie was the big problem? Green Hornet was their Green biggest Hornet problem. Was... <laughs> Fucking like superhero movies, right? Yeah, those are always their biggest problem. Those are the problems. biggest problems. No matter what studio you're at, whatever superhero movie they're making is their biggest problem. Yeah. All, all the, the fucking, problem. all the all the brass got their fucking hands in it, right? Yeah, and it's expensive and it's spinning yeah, yeah, out, yeah. And, and we're the movie that we're just making, and they're not worried nice. about. What's it. going on in the corner? Ah, it's just sad. Yeah, don't don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> the fucking the villain costume. <laughs> it's true. It's exactly what. It Talk is. to the mailroom clerk. He's got an idea about the boots. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Uh, and, like, uh, and as we were those guys, you see all other guys like being able to do whatever the fuck they want. Oh, and you're like, like fuck! Oh, God that guy. Damn it. We're absorbing all the attention. <laughs> <laughs> you got anything uh, uh, you're working on now? Nah, anything no. in the pipe? Uh, not you, Jimmy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we're about to make another... I mean, we're going to direct another movie with me yeah. and James Franco about two journalists who try to uh, assassinate Kim Jong-un while interviewing him. <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> That's a good concept. Yeah, it is good. Yeah. All right. We were just talking Talking about that, like that whole assassinate using the guise of a journalist. Right. Yeah, well, that's how the idea someone. came up. Honestly, yes. literally, it was like we were joking around about like how come they don't kill them? And right. Like, Why don't we make a movie where they try to kill him? <laughs> and oh. uh, yeah, so it's about like a guy. It's like Franco plays like a Ryan Seacrest type guy, and we find out that Kim Jong Un's like a fan of his. Like oh, he's a fan shit. of American bullshit. <laughs> and so we get an interview with him, and then the CIA asks us to assassinate him, like while we're <laughs> there interviewing him, basically. Man, yeah, we were talking to Mike yeah. Baker. Who's a ex CIA operative? Yeah. Uh, he was in here. We were talking about um, Osama bin Laden and whatnot, and, and some of the videos of him yeah. back in the day. And it's like, just fucking have a gun camera or something like that. Yeah. And uh, and he actually looked at me. He goes, Oh yeah, we never thought of that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, yeah, who the fuck am I talking to? What an asshole. Just Walter Cronkite said no. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> My old number <laughs> You kill him. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a great idea, and especially using the goofiness of Kim Jong Un. Yeah, yeah I know. I Has he hope... agreed to do it? He's, 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 yeah. And we're not paying him, but he's just a comedy fan, apparently. <laughs> can get a cameo. Can't exactly. You? God damn. We're good, we're good with cameos. <laughs> How'd you like directing him? Uh, I loved it. It was really, uh, it was actually really fun. Like we've, we've written a lot of these movies, and then you don't get to uh, be the one to execute them. And and they mm. they often have turned out better than we probably would have done. But <laughs> right. it's fun to just be able to see it through and actually like do it how you picture it. Um, yeah, yeah. It's definitely the most fun part of the job. Like, it's not harder than producing a movie, which is what we're used to doing. Like, it's way fucking harder to get someone to give you $30 million than it is to spend $30 million. <laughs> right. And that's what the director is doing, is spending uh, all the money that other people are, are getting. Right. So it's, like, actually really enjoyable. Like, it's it's kind of the least stressful part of making the movie. Like, everything, like, it's sandwiched in shit. Like, like getting the movie ready sucks, and then... Promoting, you know, making sure that the trailers are good, right, and the right. TV spots and the press, you know, making sure that it's good. Like, all that stuff is a fucking pain in the ass. Actually, making yeah. the movie is, like, by wow. far the most fun part of the process. And, and and as far as directing, how did you... Did you just jump into directing at some point? Yeah. And, and were you petrified? That seems like a daunting task. It does seem daunting, but I think what we solely realized is what we had been doing was actually harder. Like, that producing yeah. the movies and making sure the director wasn't going off the fucking rails and doing something crazy like that that all like there was a point we realized like this is less stressful than not directing the movies but I, I, I think like you, you probably need 
a lot of self-confidence because you think you get on set yeah. and people are now like, all right, that's the guy. Yeah. He's the guy that's doing this. And you, you're just sitting there going, oh, my God, I'm the guy and I don't have a fucking clue. No, yeah, uh, you have to. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That, that would happen to everyone. Every once in a while you look around and you'd be like, oh, I'm the one that has to move this. Like, you have no, to one, this no one else is going to do this. Yeah, right, like, right, like, yeah. oh, I'm the one Why who has to say. Why is shit getting done? Yeah, exactly. Like, like, oh, everyone's waiting for me to tell them what to do. And yeah. Everyone's waiting to be like, why is anyone doing anything? Oh, because I haven't fucking decided what we're doing yet. But uh, generally, yeah, you need to plan. You plan a lot. You just try to make yeah. sure that doesn't happen. A good team helps. Like the first day, you know, we have a good first AD who we work with. Like that kind of stuff. Like the, your infrastructure is helpful uh, in that situation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I hear yeah. a lot of assistance help and a yeah, lot of that uh, kinda, like a DP, a good DP. Good is DP good, is yeah. very helpful. We have yeah. this young guy, Brandon, who is awesome and uh, like really like he's one of our good friends now. Like it, it's good to have like guys like that around you. Yeah, yeah. Because there, I, I've seen some directors where it's like uh, they kind of look through the lens. Yeah. And then you don't even see him anymore. No, it's like true. everyone else kind of does everything. Yeah, and we're always like writing, like we're pitching jokes during the scenes and during right, the takes, yeah. and like I think we do a much more active version. Like sometimes they literally just like say the same shit every time. Like, right? We never do that ever. You know, we always yeah, yeah. Are trying to smart. push them to find crazier new shit. And right. that's got to be so important shit. in a comedy because I don't even know how comedies can be filmed like a regular movie where you know, all right, that's the twentieth fucking take of this yeah. joke, and you got to still look like you're authentically. It is hard. Yeah, you know it's funny, and, and what's hard with this is like if someone improvised something funny, then you do have to do that. Then you have to cover it from all the guys' angles, right? And right. Like now, make sure it's funny, yeah. and you and it ends up you do have to do it twenty times <laughs> to make sure it's the best version. But like, was that ever funny? Yeah, yeah. Was that ever funny? What the fuck? But you gotta like, I genuinely <laughs> think that like if we think it's funny and yeah. we're like dying, like if we think like this is like genuinely fucking funny, then it is almost. Almost always actually funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it's very rare that we are like, this is super fucking funny, and we're just totally You're wrong. all missing yeah, the exactly. fucking mark there. <laughs> and it's yeah. like, and I think people can tell when you, like, like when I was like, when I watch South Park, which I love, like, I mm -hmm. genuinely get a sense that they think it's funny. Right. Which is one of my favorite parts of the show. Like, you can tell, it's one of the reasons your show is great. Like, you can tell you Ooh. guys actually <laughs> laugh at each other. I fucking and love it's, it. And it's nice, you know? And I think, like, I think that actually comes across. The like, South Park documentary was great, because you saw them kind of talking to each yeah. other, working out a bit, and then getting on the mic in the studio yeah. and laughing their fucking yeah, asses on and you can tell like, get I genuinely yeah. think you can tell like that the second they turn off the microphones they're laughing they're laughing off. and yeah. and at just like the most inane dick joke stuff yeah, exactly and, and yeah. you really get a feel for who the people are and it's really funny somehow <laughs> I, I, I like you don't think that was happening on Caddyshack 2 Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jackie Gleason was a <laughs> I can't. I can't do another oh, take. Jackie Mason. Yeah. 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 yeah, Mason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, oh, should have been Jackie Gleason. Was that though. funny? Yeah, should have yeah. been. In, in his state at the yeah. time. Not yeah. one guy <laughs> thought that was uh, a yeah. bad idea. Uh, exactly. Comedy sequels fuck. are tough. Oh, yes, we've right. never Man. done one. But that, for one, that, right? reason. But that yeah. one wasn't even close. No. No. It was a drop off it was ever. A comedy sequel, but you just made it into a drama and yeah. told nobody. <laughs> right. And yeah. Fuck how disappointed everybody would be. Kind of what Caddyshack 2 did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Arthur. <laughs> Arthur went fucking serious. Oh, Arthur yeah, 2 Arthur on the two rocks. On the rocks. Yeah. That's I thought that was an idea. Sister Act 2 might be the best comedy sequel. Yeah, there you go. That could work. It might be the only one that is good. It is. You know what it is? I guess you get uh, you have to put the same gags in stuff, and people have seen it already. Like yeah, they always tough. do that in this comedy sequel. Oh, people laughed at that, so let's do it again. Yeah, but right. bigger. Yeah, yeah, bigger and yeah. yeah. Has there ever been a, a really good comedy sequel? Not really. Fuck, that's a great question. Uh, you know maybe, who did yeah. well? Austin Powers. I was say Austin Powers. And some of those, you know what? One of those stupid fucking like the third one was on TV the other day, and I just put it on, and I was like, actually, like this uh, yeah, is pretty, yeah, fucking, pretty fucking funny. funny. Like, <laughs> it's a genuinely <laughs> funny shit in this yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Austin that's Powers true. pulled it off. Absolutely. I think those yeah. types of movies, like I think Anchorman Two, will be funny. I think right. movies with like no emotional weight or reality <laughs> whatsoever. Like they're almost making fun of the concept of the fact that they are movies True, in and of yeah, themselves. Yeah. Like well, I think like air like those airplane movies. Airplane, like, like, those are genuinely naked funny guns is funny. Yeah, the naked, naked guns, guns sure. are funny. Yeah, Hangover. Yeah, okay. Hangover kind of pulled it off of the second one. I mean, second one's crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, there was a drop off, but it, it didn't suck. It's yeah. it's hard to it's hard though something yeah. like that, to capture the magic again. Yes. Yeah.
And the I, didn't, magic I didn't see three yet. I didn't see <laughs> no, three. I didn't either. see three. No. No. But we're not one. talking about that. <laughs> this, <laughs> is <laughs> the end. this is the end. <laughs> How is God. Barbara Streisand? For the love of God. I mean, she's somebody that you know. We none of us ever get to kind of be around. You spent it a lot was of time really on. cool actually to be around someone like that. I mean, as someone who's like a fan of movies and shit like that, like she just knew everyone. She, had a, I would just because I was in a car with her all fucking day, so I would just <laughs> literally like <laughs> rack my brain to think of like God, like who could I ask her about? And it was great. Like I would just leave me like, you ever meet Elvis? And she would go, oh, yeah. I met Elvis. She like ten Elvis stories. And like, I mean, like, you ever meet Peter Sellers? You like, yeah. Like, yeah. She she had a, she smoked weed with Peter Sellers. She told me she had a great story. Like, like, and she like knew like Marlon Brando. She went on a road trip with across the fucking country. Like, she knew all these people and had amazing. And she would tell me these stories for like hours and, and she, hours. And, and she hours. was cool. Jesus. Super cool. Super like, cool. she you know she's been famous since she was like sixteen years old. And yeah. you know she's been famous for like fifty years. So Jesus. it's like you know there's definitely some slight you know <laughs> remove from everyday reality <laughs> things that are about to... But I don't know if it's any more than any other Jewish lady who's, you know, around that age. But oh, she, shit. like, she tries to... She's very nice. Like, she goes out of her way to try to be nice, you know, to the yeah. crew. And she, she, like, buy ice cream for the crew and shit like that. Like, she was she was nice. I, I gotta remember. ask you something. When you're... Like, you spend a lot of time in a, in a car yeah. uh, with her and stuff. Yeah. And I'm sure that takes her... You know, it takes a long time. Yeah. Um, you can't just cut a gasser in front of... Barbara Streisand. No, you can't. It's you tough. can? No, you cannot. Oh, you, you can. Cannot. <laughs> no, she cannot. would not be happy about right. it. Right. She what? would be vocally. Were there any instances where you're like, oh fuck, I, I really gotta get got the it. fuck out of this fucking thing? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> uh, I imagine I did. Yeah. Every yeah. Once in a while. Yeah. I would try to get up and walk around. Walk <laughs> around. Oh, I gotta stretch my legs. <laughs> you gotta walk around a little bit. Around, yeah. 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 I stretch. spread it over like a thirty foot radius usually. Yes. The more more real estate you cover, the more diffuse. I go to the crowd. I don't avoid the crowd. She probably wanted a fart in the car. Too, though. Yeah, exactly. she's like, oh my god, I wish she'd get out of here. Barbara Streisand doesn't fart. <laughs> did, she, did she ask you for any showbiz stories? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't think, yeah. <laughs> she would ask what we do. Like, she seemed kind of fascinated with, like, just kind of young people in general. Yeah. What do you do? Do you, do you watch TV? You go on the internet? I would actually, she's like, she watches movies. She, like, I literally just watch, like, fucking Captain America at her house. Like, she really? Like, she watches every movie that comes out every weekend. Like, How cool it was is that? Wow, yeah. Damn. She's going she... over to Barbara Streisand's house and watching a movie. It, it, was, was, it was Captain very, America. Huh? I know. <laughs> you ever see Nuts? That I like that. Yeah, it was with, great. With Dreyfus and yeah. uh, Carl Malden. That was a Funny girl. Mm. She, she's great. She's a talented yeah, lady. Yeah. This is the end. Is uh, yes. it's in studio. Uh, today actually comes out. It's in studios. What? It's in studio. It's in, uh, <laughs> that's what we, that's what we say across the pond. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's in studios. It's in cinemas now. <laughs> it's in, it's in cinema. <laughs> yes. It comes out 12 June in cinemas. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I think it's going to go well with the people who are in university. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very good. It's a, uh, yeah, this is the end. I heard it's fucking hilarious. I'm it's so great. annoyed I haven't seen I it. I saw it, man. I fucking laughed yeah. the whole fucking it's time. It's actually very and, funny. And very the reaction funny. at the end was great. People yeah. were applauding, and they just loved it. Yeah. There's a very good, almost a unanimously positive reaction. Any Hal yes. Needham, <laughs> Hal Needham <laughs> blooper reel at the end? Burt no, Reynolds, we did it. It's Burt hard. Reynolds, no, it's hard to resist doing right? it because you just know, like, ah. Oh, People will love this. It'll, this, will, <laughs> this will play through the roof. Yeah, Frank, I can't even fucking yeah, have a straight face. Our, editor, our editor's actually the one who, who's just like, no, I'm not fucking doing this. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, we got a good ending. This yeah, is yeah. fucking bullshit. Stop it. <laughs> Let the people leave the fucking like, theater. This is one person with integrity that works on the movie. <laughs> like, I'm not fucking doing That's that. That's good. That's an editor with integrity. It's yeah. true. It's we were just talking the other day how it's awkward where you're leaving and then you have to stop and just stand in your I know, spot. Like, oh, there's more. Yeah. Oh, and, and you're laughing right. your ass off, but it's like, you don't know what to do. Right. Do I go back to my seat for a couple it's bits? Where, where so you're weird. slowly walking up the aisle with your head right. turned around to the screen. Bumping into people. Peter Sellers was livid that they did a blooper at the end of fucking being really there. i could imagine it, really? it kind of un, in a way like undercuts the entire totally movie, movie you know and like yeah, i yeah. actually hate that fucking yeah. outtake like it's super bizarre was there only one i don't remember i know i know yeah, it's him trying to get through the speech of like and he told me to tell that honky motherfucker oh, that he should like and he can't and he keeps laughing but like i think it's the same take like they show like oh, it's like six attempts wow. of him trying to get through the same and thing. he was fucking furious at i that. could totally see See why? I'd be like, yeah, at the end of like fucking it's... Forrest Gump, showing Tom Hanks, be like, life is all God can't, guys. I can't, I can't. <laughs> no, like, takes away yeah, from like, you've just taken us on a magical fucking journey with a lovable idiot. Don't undercut it. But... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's 
also like you, yeah. showing it, yeah, showing you making yeah. mistakes. I bought into this lovable moron. <laughs> right. That's great. It's like, it's like going to your mechanic, and it's like, here's your fixed car, but here's what happened. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, he's, away. Yeah. he's banging his knuckles and fucking spills oil all over your interior. He's cursing out the <laughs> he's yelling you. racial shit. <laughs> <laughs> your mother's a whore. Yes. <laughs> now the blooper reel at the guy that made your sandwich. Yeah. Wow. Wow. My scab fell in it. Yeah. <laughs> Who directed being there? Hal Ashby. It was Hal Ashby. Okay. It was. I and he's yeah. one of the great directors like of all time. No, but here's how phony I am. Yeah. I said it was Hal Ashby. Yeah. Like, that's what I had been thinking. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't. You know, was thinking that. No. It was big time Hal yeah, Ashby. I, I just compl- yeah, yeah. No, I was going to say that, but I had no idea. What's worse is when somebody <laughs> says, like, who somebody was, and they go, yeah, that was fucking you know, Mike Smith. And you're like, Mike Smith, right, right. And then they go, oh, no, it was Matt uh, Smith. <laughs> and you're like, you already, you already oh, yeah. made it like you knew Mike Smith. <laughs> it's so fucking embarrassing. Yeah. It's like, no, I don't know. I was supporting you. I, yeah. I'm yeah, 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 yeah. I want to leave you hanging I was out helping there. You out. Yeah. Don't get mad at me because I lied. That could have been embarrassing for you. I didn't want to do that. Yeah. Right, exactly. Oh, I'm going to use that tech next time. I exactly. fuck that up. It's a technicality. <laughs> I'm helping you, you fuck. I got to ask you about Superbad. I, I'm looking at your bio really fast. Thir- yeah. At age 13? Yeah, we started writing. You co wrote a, uh, a rough draft at age 13 for Superbad? Yeah, we started in And high it school. shows. It's yeah, fucking, exactly. It's a perfect adolescent <laughs> kind of a. Fuck no, it's like we were vibe. virgins. Like, literally, all we were thinking about was getting laid and, like, uh, and if we would never get fucking laid. And we had fake ID. We got a fake ID around the time. And, like, Jeez. even literally, like, when we were in high school, like, the script was always about, like, guys wow. who wanted to get laid and girls asked them to buy liquor to get to a party for them. And it all it, no, uh, I, it literally always falls. I get all story. that, but writing it at thirteen is what's amazing. Yeah, we sat down. Dude, to that do it. that is amazing. That movie, by the way, is its decades version of like what Porky's was in the seventies and, <laughs> right. and Fast Times at Ridgemont High in the eighties. Right, it Thanks. fucking defines. Uh, a decade for that type of comedy. It's I it's, love it's it. It's weird, but I I've worked with like younger people now. As I, I used to always be like the youngest guy in the movie, and now I'm not, which is fucking <laughs> terrible. But, you, but now you work with the younger guys, and yeah, it's like they're like I grew up watching that movie, and you're like fuck. That's How old's so, that uh, movie now? Fuck. It came out. Uh, not it's like seven years old. It's but I guess if, if you're old. like in your late twenties, then you know you were like yeah. in the college when it came out. Basically, Amazing. you have a change myself because I I saw recently Freaks and Geeks and stuff, and it's like ah. You still <laughs> I'm the same he's guy. Still, yeah. he's yeah. still the same fucking guy. I almost look better than I did then in some way. <laughs> yeah, still, you had to kind of grow into yourself. It's a true. Bit. I look yeah. less uh, awkward now. You still smoke yeah. the yeah. weed. Yeah, definitely. Nice. For sure. And it's so. Right. Uh, it's great. <laughs> it's great. I mean, it's fantastic. Have you tried it? <laughs> it is fascinating, too, for people that nice. don't know you and, yeah. and, and your people that you hang out with to see you with people that you hang out with and you're in movies now. It's like, hey, look, he's with James Franco in this. <laughs> They've known each other forever. It's true. This is like it's amazing. Weird. I met Frank when I was 16 years old. 16? Yeah, it's fucking crazy to think yes. of that now. What was like, he doing back then? We did Freaks and Geeks together. We were right. on the same TV show. He was uh, he was just a handsome, you know, <laughs> 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 a handsome actor. <laughs> but he wasn't in movies yet, right? He was not in movies yeah. yet. He was in like a teen movie. But he was the same. He paint like I have a painting hanging on my wall that James Franco gave me when I was 16 years old. Like he's Jesus. always been really into like that art stuff and like he hmm. he would always be on set reading like a fucking like, you know, uh, like Nietzsche book and you'd be huh. like, "Ah, this guy's full of shit." And now like 15 years later you're like, "Maybe he's not full of shit." <laughs> <laughs> it took 15 years. He's actually into that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hell of a fucking gag <laughs> for 15 yeah. years. He's really committed to this handsome that, smart guy that bit. Asian, <laughs> like that fucking Chinese magician in the uh, prestige. Exactly. <laughs> Right. He's living the part. Right. He's really doing it. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got to get Seth out of here. Yes, yeah, Seth's uh, very a busy today. today. A lot of press. A lot of press today. Fucking thanks for coming Thank in, man. Thank you, guys. I, I actually listen to the show all the time. Really? Oh, cool. I, I actually do. Sorry. That's pretty cool. All the fucking time. <laughs> and you know I'm cool. a good actor qualified to be in film. Oh, too. <laughs> Jimmy. Stop. <But> then, <laughs> That's that me, the good. FBI agent. That's all you need. <laughs> you gotta cast a fresh-faced young kid. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. you're fucking even redoing something, and maybe in Dublin or maybe fucking Oliver. Oliver. <laughs> yeah. 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 I hear they're doing a train spotting sequel. Yeah. So maybe you can Fuck get train spotting. Oh. Oliver Twist. Yeah. Yeah. I'll Oliver play Twist. the baby on the ceiling in part exactly. two. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you're probably what it would look like now. <laughs> Oh, fuck. 
Seth, Seth Rollins. 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 Rising the role. Uh, thank uh, you very much. Guys. Right, Thanks so uh, much, man. This Absolutely. is the Ed Opens today. Wow. Okay. And Seth Rogen on <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> Another one to follow on Twitter. We'll be back. Uh,